Hi and welcome to my part two of the self tanning experience. So I don't, I didn't really tend to add any uh, self tanner, spray tan, or whatever to my face, just because I, in the past I have had experience where I get breakout. And I'm not a girl that usually get breakout. Pretty much my skin is a regular kind of type of skin, and I don't tend to get that much breakout. So. I was kind of iffy about if I should add a spray tan, and back in the past, um, spray tans have been really wrong on my face. Like, I felt like my skin was really dry, like, right here, so I would get a lot of, um, I don't know, I just didn't like it on my face. But yesterday, I decided if I should do it or not. So I tried it, and let me just tell you that I loved it. So first... I used this exfoliator, and this is by Queen Helen, and this is Apricot Natural Scrub. You can use any scrub, and I think my mother-in-law said you could also use, like, sugar and stuff, because it really helps you. So, I just use this. Whoops! I use this, and I'm pretty sure you can get, like, a salad or so. This is actually, I got it from, um, this lady to, that went to or came to my house to do a um, facial on my hubby so I got this from her and so I just used of course I added my moisturizer and then I just used this L'Oreal and uh, this time I did not use this on my face obviously but I just used this and kind of mixed it in with this one put it on my face and I left it overnight so it processed and then this morning like it wasn't even this morning like I feel like in about an hour or an hour and a half my tan was starting to develop but it was such a pretty tan like I could already see it on my skin so I did an all over tan I sprayed my face my body and of course my legs and everything and I am in love right now so I really do like this tan and I will have pictures of it on my blog so make sure to check it out and my links will be down below and another thing that I really do enjoy is, um, for whatever I tried, because I wasn't used to doing spray tanning on my face, I would just try to blend in the foundation and everything, but sometimes it was still not as dark as I wanted it to be. So, I decided to get this little compact by e.l.f. And I got this Rimmel, like, bronzer, but I really, I do like the color of it, but I just... I'm probably going to go have to go get like a matte one just because it doesn't have a lot of shimmers and I don't know if you're able to see it but it does have shimmers and I don't really like that. So I do my foundation and of course when you're a little bit tanner you really have to go and spend on another foundation just so because my foundations are really like an ivory kind of color like really white or pearl but right now that I'm tan I really have to do like a deeper foundation. So I used this one by e.l.f. and it's kind of dirty right now, but what I do is I just I'll grab it and just kind of do it like this and then pat it on my skin after my foundation, blend it in, and then to contour, just use this one, like I said, by e.l.f. And then after I do all that, I am applying this beauty brush, which I purchased from Target, not, not Target, <laughs> Victoria's Secret, duh, and it is so pretty it's like a coral and then to add that glamorous glow on my face of course I use my favorite right now which is by I believe Beauty Black Radiance and I purchased this at Walmart also and this is also listed in my blog which I read about on my current favorites so this was the thing and I really do like it. If you can see it, it's like really cold and pretty. I don't know, I just love it. So I try to get this area like a highlight and then I apply it to my nose and all that stuff. And I really like it. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, if you're scared of using self tanners, maybe you should try like first night. But don't do it like on a day that you're going to go to school the next day. Just because if you have like an uneven color or something, you don't... You don't want to embarrass yourself like that, right? So try to do it like maybe like a probably a Friday night and just kind of experience with it. 
at the beginning you are going to have a lot of um, you're gonna have you have to be ex how do you say that word okay you're going to be iffy about what you should use on your face because you really want to look tan right so just go out and try some and just you know keep trying until you get the color and you are going to go through a lot of experiences because that's what I've done but now I know which one goes with my skin and I'm loving it so yeah I will have pictures on my blog come check me out bye guys